Good day everyone, welcome to How To Video. My name is Tommy from Hackergen Australia. In this video, we're going to introduce how to send number plate information to third-party software via HTTP requests. So first part is about why we need this function. The day digitalization is a trend happening in every industry such as hospital, factory, industrial park. Sometimes customers may ask, how can I get a live traffic data in a dashboard? So when something happens, I can get notified and act immediately. Definitely sending someone to count and record is not an option. So we need some machine to recognize the number plate and upload the information to, to a server automatically. Then the server can convert the data into an interactive bar dashboard. Here comes the solution. We can integrate Hackchain AMPR camera into a third-party software to achieve this function because it is an easy integration with low-code development and it has abundant number plate information for secondary development. And in part two is about product model. So we recommend to use bootleg camera and model numbers is here. You can find the num model numbers and the firmware version. And for a product selection, here's the standard. We need to figure out the distance between effective number plate and the camera, then choose the lens accordingly in this table. So to get a high recognized accuracy, please go to YouTube and search how to set up high vision AMPR camera for installation tips and the configuration. Then follow the tips and steps in that video. And in part three is about step-by-step -step configuration here. We use a software named uh, Net Assistant to simulate the server. If you have a real development platform such as Amazon Cloud, configure the server the same way as the screenshot here. So in number one, here, the IP address is the PC's IP address. So here, the PC is a server, and the port 8000 is a server port. And after configuration, click Connect. And in step two, we're going to configure camera and the PC IP address in the same IP range. Then access camera web page or web menu to configure HTTP request. So you can see camera is actually working in client mode. So it means the camera can push number plate information to a server. So the server can, don't need to do anything but just stand by and receive the information. So here you can see the formula for the HTTP request, which is very simple. And the example here, we can see the sample is from the test when I made this video. And in step three, uh, we encourage you to access this website here. So this website is about Hackfusion Technology Partner Program. If you want to get further tech support during the integration, you know, we encourage you to register account in this uh, website. So after you register, there will be someone in the background to verify you and uh, you can get tech support during the integration. So part four is about demonstration. On the right hand side, you can see here, it is about how it looks like when server receives the number plate information from the camera. So we can find lots of information you know, playing in, in left hand side, such as date and time here, and uh, countries here, and the number plate here. And also you can have a JPEG format picture of number plate a picture. But in this server, in this simulation, this software doesn't support receiving the picture so it's only plain text oh all right that's all about today's how to video hope you like it see you next video bye bye